In this example, we look at a best fit line and predict a value using that best fit line. In this case, we have a profit for a certain company X years after 1960. Based on the data shown below, the linear model is given to be y hat equals 0.90x plus 15.13. Use the model to estimate the profit in 1967 and round to the nearest cent. So here, a company has years after 1960 of being um, in production, and Y is just the list of profits. So three years after 1960, the profit was 18.93. Eight years after the company has been in production, the profit was 21.68. So now we use the linear model here to predict the profit in 1967. So the first thing we need to note is that in 1967, that is going to be seven years after 1960, so x is equal to seven. So it's very easy to just go to the table and say, okay, there's my profit. And that's not the case. This is what we call the observed values. I mean, these are the actual values in which the company earned profit. But let's say we didn't know. Let's say we wanted to see the profit for 10 years or two years after 1960. So this best fit line allows us to predict values in, within the scope of our model. In this case, we want to predict what the profit would have been using this model in 1967. So even though we have the observed value, we want to find the predicted value. And that's what the best fit line is going to do. And it's very important we know the difference between a predicted value and an observed value. All we have to do now is plug and chug. So we're going to plug and chug x equals 7 into the y hat equals 0.90x plus 15.13. So y hat is equal to 0 0.90 times x, which is 7, plus 15.13. Putting that in the calculator, I would get 21.43, and again, I'm rounding to the nearest cent. So I'm rounding to the cent. So what does this mean? This means that we can predict the profit to be $21.43 in 1967. And if we look up here at the answer, we can see that that is correct. If we look at, on a side note, if we look at $21.43 as the predicted value, and look at our observed value, $21.97, that's pretty close, right? So this means that the best fit line, the best fit line in this case, y hat, is a good fit.